what I do at ATB is it, I, I try to explore the relationship between technology, psychology, and neurology. In my PhD, I focused on adult brain plasticity. And it's, an, it's a field that continues to fascinate me. And I think the interesting interplay to explore is that between technology and neurology. And how is it that technology is changing the way that the brain functions? And I think that we are starting to understand what those relationships look like. And I think that it's going to be even more impactful in the future because children are using technology. And children, children's brains are very plastic. And they're developing uh, fast and furiously. And the interplay that technology has and the influence that it has on brain development and connectivity, I think, will be fascinating in the future. But why happiness, specifically? And I've, we've posted um, the ATB story. And I know that not all of you are familiar with it. Um, so I'd like to take a moment and just read it. And the story is something that we, we live by internally from a culture perspective, but also a, a promise that we try to make to our customers. And what we want to do is we believe that we can transform banking, that we can reimagine it, make banking work for people. Because we carry the outrageous belief that banking can change people's lives for the better, make their time richer, their aspirations closer, their happiness deeper. How will we do this? By doing things that other banks wouldn't do, by being ever loyal to our customers, relentlessly inventive, and steadfastly genuine in our pursuit of Albertans' greater good. By using banking to create happiness. Why happiness? Because good things happen when happiness becomes your purpose. And that's why ATB will always be more than a bank. So happiness is very deeply ingrained in our story and our promise to our customers. So why? We believe that happiness can be scientifically understood. And we believe that we can understand it deeply and use the drivers of happiness to inform everything that we do, everything that we build, our products, our experiences, and our services. And what my job is, is to look at it from a very scientific standpoint. So to try to understand uh, how the brain functions and psychologically, how can we better build products and experiences that align to the happiness of our customers. So again, my work is twofold at, Bright, at uh, ATB. Uh, on one hand, I work at Brightside. And Brightside is ATB's digital first offering. And it's not yet launched publicly. Uh, we do have a website which I encourage you all to go and visit and sign up for our wait list so that you can be notified when we actually launch. Um, but at Brightside, we believe that we can create better experiences for people. And one of the main ideas behind Brightside is that we can, we can change people's relationship with their money. And we can change it in a very positive way. And I think it's interesting that people don't necessarily recognize the relationship that they have with money. And yet, we have a very strong relationship there. And I'll talk about that more in a minute. The other work that I do is within innovation, and that is uh, the Brain Lab. And in the Brain Lab, we are focusing on, on happiness very generally and broadly, trying to understand what it is and come up with an equation that we can use to measure and develop happiness for Albertans, our customers, our employees, uh, very broadly. And we're doing, we're doing this using a variety of both psychological and neuroscientific tools, uh, which I'll talk about soon. So in a world that is increasingly volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous, it's important that we keep the person and people in the center of everything that we do. Technology is allowing us to understand more of the world, to communicate more broadly, but it's also distancing ourselves. And in order for us to move forward, we need to maintain that human interaction, and happiness is at the center of it. And when we think about happiness, it's very odd to think that a financial institution might be interested in happiness. But to me, it makes a lot of sense, because as I was saying before, 
financial institutions look at people's or help people understand money and their financial situation. And we all have a very deep relationship with money. Money is the number one cause of stress, anxiety. It's the number one reason that people have uh, arguments and relationships. And it's also cited sometimes as being one of the main causes of divorce. And yet, money is paper. Money is numbers on a screen. It's not money itself that's creating that emotional pull. It's what the money represents. And that's true for all of us. And Banks typically ignore it. They, they assume that we are still acting as rational uh, beings and all of the decisions that we're making are made from that very rational standpoint. And often they're not. So what we want to do is understand how can we help people as they are, not as they should be. And the ways that some of the methods that we're using to understand how people respond uh, to financial situations and understand happiness more broadly um, is by using neuroscientific tools. Uh, we're looking at using EEG, electroencephalograph, to understand specifically what is the brain doing during various interactions, uh, how are different products, services, experiences influencing how the brain is functioning, and from a reverse perspective, how does the brain function when you are in a calm or happy state? And how do we build products, services, and experiences that can allow the brain to function in those ways as well? Transcranial magnetic stimulation is a technique that is used to either activate or inactivate certain areas of the brain, which in turn influence the way that we behave. So taking these two tools and using them together can really help us understand humans and how they interact with any of the products, services, and experiences that we build and move them to move us towards building experiences and products that are more fulfilling and creating greater happiness for people in their lives. Some of the other tools that we're using um, are uh, electro, uh, facial electromyography which allows us to understand the emotion that somebody is expressing. Uh, so we can measure their sentiment, we can ask them how they're feeling, but this will give us indications of how the various muscles in their faces are actually moving um, to allow us to know what emotion they're feeling. And we can also measure galvanic skin response, we can measure heart rate, and all together, along with the survey data, the self-report data, this gives us a more holistic view of the whole individual and specifically what it is that they're feeling and thinking. Within ATB, there is an AI lab. Um, the girl who is supposed to be speaking today um, Jennifer Ishigura, she was, she is brilliant and I hope that you all have the opportunity to hear her speak at some point. Um, she's one of the co-chairs of the lab um, and she's the managing director of the experience design team at ATB. And also within this lab partnered is Dr. Jeffrey Rockwell from the University of Alberta. Um, he's working closely with Jen and sharing his expertise in philosophy and humanities computing. Uh, so both fascinating people to speak with, and I really hope you have the opportunity to hear them at some point. If you have any questions about the AI lab, we have Chandra in the audience, um, and she can speak to some of the opportunities that exist within ATB um, and give you all the information that you might be looking for with regards to this lab. If you are curious to understand more about Brightside, which is our digital offering, I encourage you to visit highbrightside.ca. You can see a little bit of some of the product offerings that we are planning to launch in the spring. Um, and you can also get some insight into some of the work that we're doing uh, from a behavioral and psychological perspective, understanding the products that we're building. There's also, if you're interested in the Brain Lab, which is more looking at the happiness um, perspective and some of the neuroscientific research, uh, please go and visit atbalphabeta.com. And also within that site, you will find a plethora of information on various initiatives that are happening at ATB. 
So I encourage you all to go there. And uh, thank you for letting me share with you a little bit of what we're doing at HEB around neuroscience.